Welcome, bro. Mac T here, and I'm doing a Mac T live this morning, this wonderful Saturday, the 19th of January. And uh, before I even get started, I want to wish Mom Osha a very happy 21st anniversary. I think I got the better end of the deal and she got the raw end of the stick. That's right. But anyway, she <laughs> she said yes 21 years ago to me and I'm happy that she did. And we have a fine couple of daughters and also a great family to go with it. So uh, happy anniversary, Mom Osha. I love you and glad you're with me. Anyway, uh, getting off to it. Remember, join up Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook, folks. Also, YouTube channel, make sure you like and subscribe to that. This is self-promotion at its best, but also Mac T Garage. Yes, on Facebook, Mac T Garage on Facebook. Make sure you join up on there. And also Mac T Garage on YouTube. I'm trying to grow that channel, so help me out. And this uh, Mac T Garage YouTube channel is uh, starting to gain some traction. So help me out with it, help it grow. And don't forget Mac T Ford Edge on YouTube. We are at 7,900 subscribers now and I'd like to get to 8,000 here soon so uh, by all means uh, help me out with that but that's enough of the promotion here I am on here in order to talk about what we're doing with our Ford Edge and the Duratex and what are the signs and symptoms of the various failures of overheating and uh, it can be done quite simply in the process so I wanted to address that because we always get those questions and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, you know, apparently I'm not putting it out enough or something. And I just want to see if uh, I can answer some of those uh, questions. Uh, good morning, Frank. Welcome aboard. I got a few members already watching. So, uh, you know, post your questions in here. I'll answer them after I start trying to discuss some of this overheating situations. Now, I'm going to go right into the meat and potatoes of it. How do I tell? I got, you know, my coolant bottle all of a sudden, all this coolant's going out. I don't know what's going on. It's all over the ground. How do I determine what the problem is visually? Okay, that, that's the key. Visually, you can determine almost without a doubt what the problem is. And it's pretty simple. A lot of people say, oh, it's the thermostat. Or, oh, it's the water pump. Most go to the water pump first because, you know, that's the worst case scenario. Uh, but it isn't always the case, folks. Overheating can be about three different things. Okay? Thermostat, water pump, fans. That's it. How can I determine what is causing my edge to overheat? And you really got to ask yourself, I need to go and look. Yeah. Well, use your eyes. Okay. And your ears. Pretty simple, you do it. Now, thermostats, we're not, I'm gonna sort of write those off because I haven't ran across too many Duratex 3537 that have had overheating issues due to a failed thermostat. For the most reason is the thermostat tends to fail in the open position. That's right, open. That means it won't overheat. Now, there might be some cases where it doesn't open, uh, but for the most part, they fail in an open position. Uh, so, really, we haven't run across anybody yet that has definitely said, my edge overheated and failed because of a thermostat. I haven't run across that. Uh, if there is, you know, you guys can call me a liar, but haven't run across it. So, thermostat, that's a far, far off decision there. Next most common, and this is the most, second most common. Yeah, you guys are thinking one thing. I'm going to tell you something different. Second most common reason for an overheating situation is the water pump. Yes, not the first, the second. Okay? Yeah, everybody talks about it, but hey, here's the deal. Not as many water pumps fail. Okay? True. True. You might see it in the group. Oh my gosh, water pump's horrible. It's not that horrible. I had 265,000 miles twice to prove that it ain't the water pump. That's right. Never had one fail. Might do with maintenance. I don't know. Either way, water pump failure. How do I determine visually and through listening whether it's water pump? Well, 
the water pump visually if your coolant bottle's empty. <laughs> okay, that's a first sign, but that is also another sign of the uh, number one reason. So we're we're not going there yet. But also the next thing to do is check water. Where's the water coming from? Underneath the engine, you'll have to crawl and you'll look up by the compressor and there's a weep hole up on there. If you're seeing water coming down through that weep hole, then that might that that is probably a water pump seal. Now that is indicating right now, if you see it come out the weep holes, just keep in mind the water pump is a double sealed surface. That means there's two gaskets going around. One internal gasket, one external gasket that are going around. And in between those two ga gaskets sandwiched in there is the weep hole area, okay? The weep hole will let the water go out the weep hole without going into the engine. So if you're seeing it come out the weep hole, you can count your lucky stars that you do not have water in your engine. So the top part of the motor is the other weep hole. If you, don't, if you see water come out of any, any one of those, that is your saving grace, but also that means no more driving. Yeah, stop driving. Do not drive it. You will damage the engine to do it. So the other failure is the shaft seal, and I've got water pump uh, dissection videos in my YouTube channel that will tell you exactly what happens when you get that shaft seal damaged, and then the water goes into the engine, okay? So the seals will fail, Generally, one at a time. If you catch it early enough, you won't have a problem. Just replace the water pump. If the shaft seal fails, then it gets into the engine immediately. Okay, now you have water or coolant in your oil. Now, how can you tell visually? Well, the coolant bottle's empty. No water on the ground. Shaft seal's probably leaking. That means it's going to the engine because the engine's overheating because water is not a good lubricant. That's right. Water is more friction, therefore you're going to have higher temperatures, so your temperature gauge is going up. You check the oil, and the oil level is really high, or most likely, it's going to look like a chocolate milk. Okay? It could be a light chocolate milk, depending on how early you catch it, or it could be just a full blown chocolate milk. In that case, you know, you waited a while, and there's probably some engine damage there. But that is how you're going to determine the water pump failed. Now, the most common, number one reason you're going to have an overheating situation is because of fans. The fans, yes. Those two fans, the fan assembly, that is where the number one reason you're going to have overheating. And here's how you can actually tell whether or not it is a fan assembly failure. One, they fail two different ways. There's two fans. One fan cools the air conditioning, that's right. The other fan cools the radiator, and when it gets really hot, they both run. That's how it all works. So, if you don't have the AC on, only one fan will turn on. Okay? If you have the AC on, both fans will run. But here's the thing. Both fans will also need to cool if it starts getting really hot, so they'll kick on. Now, you look at the fans and say, hey, they're turning. Yeah, yeah, they're turning. But are they turning at hurricane force strength? That's the other problem. People look at, oh, they're turning. Oh. Are they turning really fast? Okay, so here's the deal. Ford Edge, Duratec, 3.7, anything below 45 mile an hour speed, the fans will turn on. They have to. The, the airflow ain't going through the engine. If you're driving down the highway at 45 or 50 mile an hour plus, the fans won't turn on, folks. You won't know your edge is overheating because it is not overheating. There is sufficient airflow going through that radiator to not allow the fans to work because they don't need to because you got enough airflow. It's when you get into the city driving, start, stop, or you're idling. Then if your edge starts overheating at idle, but you notice when you're driving down the road at 45 mile an hour plus, it don't overheat. Boom, Bob's your uncle. It is your fans. If your AC don't work good, Bob's your uncle. It's your AC fans. That's right, the fans. So your AC don't work, your car is overheating at idle in town, fans. Not water pump, not thermostat, fans. So what do you do? You can't fix the fans, you got to replace the fans. That's right, many have tried, they have been unsuccessful, and many have tried aftermarket. Guess what? Don't work. 
It might work initially, or it may not work at all. But either way, you're going to have to go out, spend a few of the dollars, and get an OEM fan. That's right, a motorcraft. More times than not, we've had aftermarket failures because they just no good. Okay. That's all there is to it. They're no good. So buy the Motocraft fan, put it in, and your edge won't overheat anymore. But those are the top three reasons your edge is going to end up having overheating issues. And it starts number you know, three, thermostat, number two, water pump, and number one is the fans. The fans. I personally replaced my wife's fans because she does tons of idling. I replaced them at 100,000 miles just to get rid of the chance that the fans fail while she's in idle. Yeah, I don't want the problem. So I preemptively got the fans, and they're sitting in my garage right now. So guess what? If the fans ever fail on Lou, I will change, them, change it out with the one that's in the garage and put it on Lou because I know it works. Yeah, so I got a standby in a way, and I kept uh, the phone calls down from my wife saying, oh my gosh, the car's overheating. Yeah. That's how I do it. So uh, I don't always swap parts from <laughs> Blueberry to uh, to Lou, but in this case, I would do that because uh, I know the fans are functioning because I did preemptive work. But either way, I just want you to know that that's it for the water pump, the thermostat, and the fans. That is why your Ford Edge would overheat, and I just wanted you all to know that. And remember, like and subscribe Mac T Ford Edge and all this good stuff, Band of One, Mercy Grills One Liners, and everything else that go with this little segment. So uh, maybe some bonus footage at the end of this once I post it on YouTube. You have all a great day because my feet hit the floor and I'm having a great day. Thank you for watching Mac T videos. Remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.